Chloe is doing a beautiful contemporary piece entitled Soaring. Will she soar or will she continue to spiral downwards to be mediocre? Glide through fourth, ugh, go back. Glide through fourth into the attitude. Watching Chloe rehearse her solo, it's apparent that she's not the same dancer she was. And it's not because of her technique. It's about her passion. And I want her to have that spunk and that fire, but she doesn't. That wasn't looking like you wanted to dance. It's got to come from you, Chloe. I can't keep giving you the same pep talk over and over and over. I can't make you want to dance. Whatever. I guess I'm in a really tough situation right now because I don't really think that Miss Abby is expecting me to be Cameron, and that's really hard to go into a dance competition like with all this pressure on you and then everyone's working against you. This is number 29, Soaring. Chloe was supposed to dance last year at Nationals, but her mother, Christy, ruined it for her. She'll never know if she could have won or not, but now is her chance. This is her moment to go out there and earn this victory and prove that she's still on top of her game. I love to watch Chloe on stage. She's a beautiful dancer, she has great technique, and I think Chloe should be really proud of herself because I think it would be so hard to hear just negative things all the time and go out there and rise to the occasion and dance your heart out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we actually hit a tie between fifth and sixth place. Sixth place, the score of 278.4 points. Fifth place had that same score of 278.4, but a higher technique score. So at this time, join me in congratulating, in sixth place, Miss Cameron, with act number 26. This is the start from the Abbey Lee Dance Company. In fifth place. Join me in congratulating Miss Chloe with act number 29, soaring from the Abbey Lee Dance Company. I cannot believe that Chloe actually beat Cameron again. I, I don't know how she pulled it off. Abby didn't care if Cameron won nationals. She wanted Cameron to beat Chloe, and she didn't. And Abby can't stand to lose. Those five kids in there put your fat name on the map. No. You were no one before these kids. Why do you up. say that? Because you think putting a couple kids on Broadway makes you someone? And guess who made your household name? Them. Take a hike. She has more class in her little finger at 13 than you have in that big, fat body at 45. Chloe is finished. Your kid's washed up. How dare you? Do you know anything about that kid? No! Gotta draw the line. Enough's enough. How low of a human being can she be? This isn't about dance. This is about human decency. And how low can you go? And I don't think anybody's lower than Abby. You heard. As a mom, I can't sit by and watch this woman destroy my child anymore. She can't steal her passion. She can't steal her self-confidence. My line's been crossed. Dance isn't worth it. Let's go, Chloe. It's really sad that Chloe was part of the winning group dance, and she had the highest scoring ALDC solo, and this is how her national ends. I still want to dance. I still want to do this, but I don't want to do it with her anymore. My favorite part about dancing with the girls is that even if we lost or won, we were always a team and we always worked together. And we were just always there for each other and we know how it felt. <laughs>